Hi, I'm Mr. Titwell. I'm the subject leader for maths here at the Beaconsfield School. Okay. Now, what courses are available in your subject at sixth form? So we offer A-level maths. We do the AQA syllabus. So the syllabus is the same across all the exam boards. But if you wanted to look at the detail, all that will be on the AQA website. Okay. What does the pupil need to achieve to be able to be accepted? Okay, so we'll, uh, we're happy to take you, but you've got to get a 7 at least in your GCSE. Obviously better if it's an 8 or a 9, because your skills will be better, but 7 or more and you are in. Well, what is your favourite part of the course? I think, um, I often say that in your first A-level maths lesson, it's your first maths lesson. Everything up to then has been numeracy with a, with a dash of common sense. So you start getting into the, the real meat of mathematics and the biggest, the biggest one is calculus. It's uh, one of my pet hates that everyone knows Isaac Newton for his formulation of gravity. I'm taking nothing away from his, uh, his theory of gravitation, but he really should be famous for formulation of calculus, which is foundational to, uh, to mathematics. It's, it caused the explosion in mathematics and science once it was developed by him and Leibniz and then they spent the rest of their lives arguing about who did it first. Now how is the course examined? It's, uh, it's, all, it's all on uh, formal papers so there are uh, two three hour exams. No that's incorrect. There's one for your offcuts. It's all formally examined. It's uh, three two-hour exams. Uh, these, it's a combination of pure and applied. So one first paper is all pure mathematics, and then you have two mixed papers which bring in the applied sections of mechanics and statistics with a smattering of pure to start you off. Who would this course appeal to? It probably sounds obvious, but you need to enjoy maths. You need to uh, you need to relish the challenge of. Uh, of a complex problem, unpicking it, formulating it, translating it into mathematical language and then going to solve it. It's, it's heavily focused on problem solving so you've got to enjoy that process, you've got to enjoy learning uh, algorithms and techniques uh, but if you're methodical, if you're mathematically minded uh, then I think you'll, you'll really take to it. Now where would this course lead you? Um, I think that's the beauty, I think people make the mistake of thinking well I don't want to be a maths teacher and I don't want to be an accountant, what possible use is maths? Uh, the problem solving, the analysis, the formulation uh, and the, the two years that you'll spend becoming an expert problem solver make you, will make you invaluable to any organisation that you're in. I think when you look at specifics, you know, it, it's key to anything scientific, uh, calculus is such a foundation. Uh, in all all those areas, engineering was heavily calculus based. Medicine, they love it for medicine, um, but you can apply it. It's such a wide ranging uh, skill that problem solving, that uh, analysis that you can really take it and apply it to uh, to any sort of career path you, you would be looking at. I don't think there's a career path where maths would not be looked on favourably. Okay, I believe that's all. Thank you very much, Mr. Titor. Thank you.